Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we were going on an adventure to one of the most amazing places on earth, Yellowstone National Park. Imagine a huge park filled with bubbling hot springs, shooting geysers like Old Faithful, and incredible wildlife like bison and bears. It's like a real-life magic land. But what happens when nobody is watching? A few years ago, when the park was temporarily closed to visitors, scientists had a super cool idea. They thought, hey, let's use our eyes in the sky satellites to see what Yellowstone is doing when it's all by itself. And what they found was like uncovering a secret message from the planet. Now you might know Yellowstone sits on top of a giant volcano, not the pointy mountain kind, but a massive underground supervolcano. It's what makes all the geysers and hot springs possible. It's like a giant pot of water simmering on a stove, and the geysers are the steam escaping. Scientists have always kept a close eye on it, but the park is so big it's hard to see everything at once. That's where the satellites come in. Think of them as giant space cameras orbiting Earth and taking pictures. But these aren't just any pictures. They use special technology, like radar, that can see things our eyes can't. It's called INSAR, which is a fancy way of saying it can measure tiny movements of the ground as small as a single centimeter. It's like being able to see the ground breathe. So while the park was quiet, these satellites were staring down at Yellowstone, collecting tons of data. When the scientists looked at the information, they noticed something fascinating. The ground in Yellowstone was moving. Not in a big, shaky earthquake way, but in a slow, steady rhythm. In some areas, the ground was gently rising, and in others, it was gently falling. Picture a giant underground balloon. When it inflates just a tiny bit, the ground above it bulges up. When it deflates, the ground sinks down. This is basically what's happening beneath Yellowstone. Deep underground, there's a massive chamber of hot, gooey rock called magma and superheated water. As this magma and water move around, they push the ground up or let it settle back down. The satellites showed that this breathing was happening all over the park, not just in one spot. They found a big area near the Norris Geyser Basin that was slowly rising. It was like the ground was taking a deep breath in. This told scientists that there was likely a lot of activity happening deep beneath the surface there. But wait, does this mean the supervolcano is about to erupt? Absolutely not. The scientists were actually very excited because this slow breathing is a sign of a healthy, active volcanic system. It's the normal behavior for Yellowstone. It ekes like when a doctor listens to your heart and hears a steady beat. It means everything is working as it should. Big eruptions are incredibly rare, and they're usually preceded by much more dramatic signs like huge earthquakes and massive ground swelling, not these slow, gentle movements. What was so special about seeing this during the shutdown? Well, usually there are cars, people, and all sorts of noise that can interfere with sensitive measurements. With the park empty, the data from the satellites was crystal clear, like listening to a song in a perfectly quiet room. It gave scientists the purest look ever at Yellowstone's natural rhythm. They also used thermal cameras on the satellites. These are like the special goggles you see in spy movies that can see heat. They looked at Yellowstone's hot springs and geysers from space and mapped out their heat signatures. They discovered that some hot spots were changing, getting hotter or cooler, even when no one was around. One of the most amazing discoveries was how different parts of the volcanic system are connected. Imagine a giant underground plumbing system. The satellites helped scientists trace the pathways of hot water and steam moving from one area to another. They saw that a slight change in pressure in one part of the park could affect a geyser many miles away. It's all part of one huge interconnected network. For example, they could see how the ground around a lake might rise slightly, pushing water into underground channels that feed a distant geyser field. It's like squeezing one end of a water balloon and watching the other end bulge out. These connections were much more complex than anyone had realized. This new information is like getting a secret instruction manual for Yellowstone. By understanding its normal breathing patterns, scientists can now more easily spot if something unusual ever starts to happen. It helps them build better models to predict what the volcano might do in the future, keeping everyone safe. It's not about predicting a scary eruption, but about understanding the incredible power and in life that's constantly churning just beneath our feet. So the next time you see a picture of Old Faithful shooting into the sky, remember the invisible dance happening underground. 
Remember the slow, rhythmic breathing of the land, measured by our watchful eyes in space. The shutdown gave us a rare, quiet moment to listen to the Earth's heartbeat. And what we learned is helping us protect and understand this natural wonder for generations to come. It shows us that even when we think nothing is happening, our planet is always alive, always moving, and always full of surprises. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the secrets of Yellowstone. It's amazing what we can discover when we combine human curiosity with incredible technology. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more adventures into the wonders of our world. See you in the next video.